I'm going to close my eyes and I want you to enjoy yourself. <laughs> Go ahead, Jethro. Enjoy yourself. There you are. Get out of here, you shameless vixen! Uh, yes, ma'am. Come on, Duke. Thank you for the kiss. <laughs> Kid Clarbert speaking. Hello, Mr. Clarbert. Jane Hathaway here. Uh, did I by any chance leave a large brown envelope there last evening? Yes, ma'am. Right here by the window. Good. I'll have Miss Trigo drop over to... Is Jeffro there? Yes, ma'am. He's right here. I'll drop over and pick it up. <laughs> no call for you to do that. I'll have Jethro fetch it right down to the bank to you. Now, I'll take a letter to, uh... Excuse me, I'm sorry, but there's a Chickadee Laverne who insists on seeing Mr. Drysdale. Chickadee? <laughs> Hi. Well, howdy to you. You're Jethro, aren't you? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. You hear any music? No, should I? Well, yeah. I should, too, but I don't, darn it. Well, if you'll wait, I'll hum something for you. <laughs> what do you say, Chief? Oh, Jethro, how nice to see you. Well, howdy, Miss Jane. <laughs> something wrong? Uh, no, just listening for music. <laughs> what kind of music? What music? Hope music. Try me again, Jethro. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I'd like to speak to you in the pool. Pool? The secretarial pool. Let's go. <laughs> I shall return, Jethro. <laughs> Jethro? Oh, 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 I hardly think that... Wait a minute. There is one possibility. A girl from the secretarial pool who... False alarm. No girls missing. Oh, horrible. Oh, forget it. Jed Clavett can handle a case of puppy love. Miss Hathaway, there's a raccoon in your office. Oh, no, 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 Jeff. Don't panic. You've seen a raccoon before. Not like this one. It keeps trying to undress me. <laughs> well, Janet, Mr. Drysdale is winging east. And that leaves you and me to man this nerve center of our mighty bank. A little frightening, isn't it? <laughs> yes, Miss Hathaway. Now, during the chief's absence, I shall occupy his office, and you will remain at my desk. Miss Hathaway's office. One moment, please. It's the new teller, Mr. Wilson. Mm -hmm. He said there's a rather shabbily dressed man by the name of J.D. Clampett wanting to withdraw $10,000. <laughs> Wilson, Hathaway here. Don't let appearances deceive you. Mr. J.D. Clapper is good for any amount up to thirty-six million four hundred and twenty-two thousand dollars. <laughs> Glad to help. Thirty-six million. Needless to say, he is Mr. Drysdale's favorite depositor. Oh, that reminds me. The chief is having some work done at the Clapper estate. New filtering system for the pool, repairs to the driveway. I'll get on the phone and see that these things are taken care of. Oh, and uh, bye to bye. If Jethro should stop up to see me, just send him in. Jethro? Oh, he's that big, good-looking kid. <laughs> I'll be watching for him. <laughs> stand up, dear. Oh. Could you uh, walk for me, please? <laughs> Turn around for me, Janet, please. Turn around. You take the chief's office, I'll remain out here. That is an order. Everything must be fine. It's real friendly. It's dry sales office. No, I'm sorry. He's on his way to the airport for an out-of-town trip. Mr. Drysdale's leaving town? That's 
where your money went, leaving town with him. Oh, no. Could I please talk to Miss Hathaway? Well, I'm afraid she's with Mr. Drysdale. Is both gone? Granny, I reckon it's a mite late to be telling you now, but... Hey! Hey, what happened? Is everybody all right? Uh, howdy, young fella. Uh, my name is Jed Clampett. Kirk Massey. And this here is Granny. Howdy! How do you do? Hey, we've been listening to you sawing on that thing. Uh, kind of sluggish, ain't it? <laughs> well, that's what they want over there. Well, it ain't what we want over here. Now, come on, we got the overflow here. Come on, let's liven things up a little bit. Well, may I have some of the punch for I it? I recommend it. Uh, come on, everybody, get some punch. Here comes the hot sausages. This here is my daughter, Ellie Mae, and that young fella carrying the sausages is my nephew, Jethro. Well, howdy. Wow, hey, Fred. <laughs> howdy. Wow, we. Hey, Doris. Hey, fellas. <laughs> She's too smart a businesswoman to take the whole risk herself. Excuse me, someone to see you. I told you no interruptions. I told you no interruptions. Sorry, Mr. Clampett, no interruptions. Clampett! Well, come in, come in. Well, I don't want to be no bother. Oh, it's always a pleasure to see you, Mr. Clampett. Uh, coffee for Mr. Clampett. Coffee for Mr. Clampett. You help. Well, now, uh, don't make no fuss over me. But I think she's getting worse. Coffee time! You're to blame for this. It was your responsibility to turn that wild girl into a lady, and you failed. What have you done now, you overdeveloped vixen? Me? <laughs> Her. I'm talking about Ellie Mae Clampett. Oh, but wait, she's Mr. Drysdale. Miss Jane done the best she knowed how. Well, as a matter of fact, it was her who got Ellie her first ball gown. That's true. By the way, I haven't seen that gown since. What happened to it? I kind of hate to tell you, but I reckon you got a right to know. But it never looked quite the same after that. <laughs> Mr. Clavett, we have failed you. And when I say we, I mean you. <laughs> but she... Don't argue with me. What are you standing here for? There's work to be done. But I just... Don't argue with me. <laughs> Feel like I'm causing a lot of trouble for folks that ain't to blame. But, Chief, I promised to Jethro. Oh? Who promised you? Me, I. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Drysdale. Hey, what about her? Oh, she's too young for Mr. Clampett. <laughs> I mean for Jethro, you're for Mr. Clampett. <laughs> what is it, Janet? The guard downstairs just phoned to say that Mrs. Radnor Fenwick is on her way up to see you. Oh, yes, it must be about that new housing development. She's... Let's talk this over. It's too late for talking. We is feuding. Now, Granny, he's talking before we is doing any feuding. Uncle Dad, Granny. Hey, look at here what I got. I just captured me the first prisoner. <laughs> Turn her loose. But she's one of the bank people. Maybe she can get our money for us. Can you? No, I can't. I can, Jethro. Capture me! <laughs> Hello, Granny. I got me a prisoner, too. How you do? How you do? Oh, you're back. Even if he was to tell us where the money is, we wouldn't know what he was saying. Please, Mr. Clappett, let's talk this over. We will. All right, sit down, everybody. We're going to have a confab. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to have a confab. Your uncle Jed told you to turn her loose. Now, 